Look over here at this trapezoidal region, x equals 2 vertical line, x equals 4 vertical line. We'll call this y equals x, and it'll come right through the origin if you continue it. y equals 0, your x-axis, you have a trapezoidal region. You can easily determine the area if you wanted to using geometry. You have a square and a triangle or single integrals. I'm focusing here intentionally on double integral. How do I do it? I have to split this into two areas simply because I have limits that don't behave uniformly with the entirety of what you see. What does that mean? If you look at here, area A, I'm doing an inner dx and an outer dy. I have these lower limits, upper limits, 2 and 4, which track all the way up. 4 goes all the way to the top, but 2 only comes up to here, and then it deviates. So you have to split this entirety into two different areas and then add them up. I'm looking at a lower limit 2 and upper limit 4, but they come as high as what? You're looking here as across 2, 0, 2, and then you're looking here, over here is going into 0, 4 in terms of your y values. This is 2, 0, 4, 0, 2, 2, 4, 2, and 4, 4. Your y values are going to be 0 to 2. Now you'll add this to the triangular region, inner dx, and an outer dy. What are the limits here? The 4 limit tracked all the way up and it remained unchanged. The 2 limit only came up to here, but then it started deviating here along the function y equals x, x equals y. That becomes your lower limit. Coming here from a 2 up to a 4, as you see, 2 to 4. And this right here demonstrates your double integrals. If you compute this properly, and you can, do the antiderivative here, which is x, put 4 and a 2. The difference of that will be a 2. The 2 will come through. And then you're doing 0 and a 2 with regards to dy. You'll have here an area 4 for a. Do this. You'll have an antiderivative here, x. You have a 4 and a y. The difference of these two is a 4 minus y. And now it's nested in a dy integral which is from a 2 to a 4. Your antiderivative here is a 4y minus y squared over 2. You're doing a 4 and a 2. Put 4 in two places of y, compute it properly, you'll have an area come through of 2, and that's area B. Your total area is 4 plus 2. As you see, there's a plus, and it's going to be 6. Using the double integral approach, and it will be correct. But double integral approach is relatively unnecessary because you have easier techniques to determine this. Your geometry or your single variable techniques. Anyhow, this is it, and thank you for watching.